Hello everybody, welcome to another edition of the Rifle Chair Adventure Channel. And today I'd like to talk to you about the difference between a hiker and an outdoorsman. Now what does a hiker mean to you? A lot of people have seem to have different definitions of hikers. I've been involved in search and rescue looking for what were considered to be at the time experienced hikers. So why do they get lost if they're experienced hikers? Here's my interpretation of what a hiker is. A hiker is somebody who hikes, groomed, maintained trails. So long as they don't stray far from the trail, they're generally okay. I don't really consider hikers to be people that stray off trails and travel for extended periods in remote, deep woods. Okay, I, hikers generally, I think, are associated with trails. Simply because I've, I've been out looking for them as they've been lost. Not today, just in the past. Far too many times. So, is it a fair analysis? Well, yes and no. There, there are good hikers and then there are people who just don't know what they're doing. I don't consider myself to be a hiker. If I'm out in the woods, it's because I'm navigating. And for me, navigating is a job. A job that requires high attention to detail and focus. If I'm hiking, I'm not really paying attention to details. But no, I don't consider myself to be a hiker. What's the difference between a hiker and an outdoorsman? What attracts or motivates hikers? So I guess we've got to look at that. Hikers are out enjoying the majesty of nature. I mean, there's, there's, there's something soothing and spiritual about walking in the woods or in, or in remote wilderness locations. Good weather, getting out when the sun is shining, enjoying some good conversation with your, with your friends, um, soaking in the scenery, viewing wildlife, enjoying some personal solace, mental solitude, simply being in the moment and being in the wilderness. That's what, that's what hikers are looking for. Um, stress relief. Getting to go places you don't normally go. Working on your physical fitness. And many would call a spiritual connection to Mother Earth. And I, I think those are all wonderful things. What is an outdoorsman? Well, I, I think that some of the motivations that attracts people to outdoorsmanship is some, many of the similar things that hikers look for. But I think they also in, include, but are not limited to other skill sets. For example, outdoorsmen are not limited to groomed trails. There, I said it. Hikers should stay to trails. You know, these are parks. These are places where people go for a walk in the wilderness, don't stray from the trail. At least not too far from it. Outdoorsmen are not confined by trails. Outdoorsmen generally have an active um, destination that they need to get to by a, by a perceived time. They have an objective in mind. Um, outdoorsmen have industrial strength navigation skills. They are well immersed in fieldcraft and bushcraft uh, for their area of operation. And what I mean by area of operation is, for example, I'm, I consider myself to be proficient in coastal and temperate forests. Don't ask me to be uh, an outdoorsman up in the Arctic, in jungle, or in desert, because those aren't part of my skill set. So that's what I mean by, by that area of operation. Outdoorsmen have the appropriate field equipment and tools. That's what they are, they're tools. Right? Just like a mechanic works on a vehicle, an outdoorsman has tools for outdoorsman stuff. Outdoorsmen generally know how to safely operate 4x4 vehicles, winches, um, are fairly good with ropes and knots. Um, these are kind of all field crap, bush crap kind of skills. But more than that, uh, ATVs, snowmobiles, chainsaws, um, falling trees within their scope of practice, or you know, safety lim limitations. Um, they know how to use, like I said, ropes, come-alongs, block and tackles, 
because lifting weights, moving weights, um, doing things safely in the bush, sometimes it requires the use of spe specified skills in those kind of areas. Outdoorsmen are usually armed or have other methods to deter attack from dangerous animals. In my case, they um, put the bear meats with me. Outdoorsmen are generally fairly good shots because they're out there. And they, they carry a rifle or a shotgun for personal defense and uh, they have to be good with them. Also, and this is it seems to be fairly common amongst the outdoorsmen that I know, is that they all seem to have a fairly strong desire to have a, a remote wilderness cabin where there's no people. They want the solitude, they don't want to be around people. Call them antisocial if you want. Outdoorsmen are very generous to share their knowledge. The ones that I've known that have mentored me are more than enthusiastic to transfer their knowledge. And I'm very grateful to them for that. Outdoorsmen have a very deep respect for the environment and a, and a strong desire for it to be managed sustainably. Because they work, they live in these places. They want it to be managed sustainably. Outdoorsmen have developed field-related competencies by using or demonstrating them, the skills, not from reading books. Reading books does not make you an outdoorsman. Getting out into the wilderness and demonstrating them to yourself. Doing them. Taking baby steps if need be, but getting out there and doing this stuff and practicing it and getting good at it. Sometimes it takes a lifetime. If you're really, really enthusiastic, it'll take you a shorter amount of period of time to develop these skill sets. Living comfortably versus being miserable. Anybody can go out to the bush and be miserable. Be wet, cold, starving. Anybody can do that. There's no challenge in that. But if you're good at being an outdoorsman, you get out there, be dry, warm, and comfortable. Set up a hoochie and a camp, not only for yourself, but for many other people, and make everybody in your and everybody around you more comfortable simply by your presence and your knowledge by being there that you'll share with them, put them to work. And it's also a part of this is leadership. Outdoorsmen quite often find themselves searching for people that are inept in wilderness locations. And that starts to get tiring after a while. There are some amazing people out there that dedicated a significant period of their time just doing this, looking for people that are lost. And this seems to be getting worse and worse. Every year, every decade, more and more people are going out into extreme wilderness locations and getting lost. It's completely avoidable, folks. Stay within your scope of practice. If you're a hiker, stick to groomed trails, stick to parks. But stick to groomed trails. If you're an outdoorsman, now you can start wandering off these trails. If you want to develop your outdoorsman skills, take baby steps. Take small ad adventures. Make sure you have a safety plan together. People are lost or injured in the woods on an increasing scale. And the resources to, to look for these people are not necessarily always there. So, that's it folks. Who are you? Are you a hiker? Or are you an outdoorsman? Where do you want to be? Do you want to be an outdoorsman? Or are you satisfied being a hiker? If you're satisfied being a hiker, don't go into the woods. Stick to your groom trails. Stick to your parks. If you want to develop your skills to be an outdoorsman, then you need to find a way to get those skills. Read books, study books. Go out, take little mini, mini training exercises and teach yourself this stuff. How to make fires, how to make a shelter, what kind of equipment do you need? How do you use your equipment? Do you know how to use a compass? I'll be putting on a series of adventure um, outdoorsmanship 
videos to instruct some of these things that I believe that some of you may, may take advantage of, some of you may find some use in. That's going to be the kind of the switch for 2014. There's going to be less gun related uh, videos, more outdoorsmanship type of adventure videos. In fact, I'm going to change the theme or the, the name of my channel to the Rifle Chair Adventure Channel. Because ultimately that for me, whether it's guns or being out in the bush, it's all about, a bit, all about adventure. So that's it for me folks. Um, this is kind of a transition for the Rifle Chair channel and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, this will be shooting and gun stuff. There's going to be a little bit of a twist to these videos. I'll try to immerse some of, the, some of these more different kind of variable skills into, uh, into future uh, episodes. So that's it for Rifle Chair and as always, Maple Leaf Up.